Welcome to Tech Talk. My name's Aaron with Sportsman Boats. Today we're gonna to be talking about the proper way to wash and dry your boat, as well as the proper tools for the job. We'll start with the proper hose. I use an expand hose because the fabric on this won't scuff your boat like a normal rubber green or gray garden hose. So what we're gonna use here is a normal car wash and wax soap. We're not gonna use a Dawn soap because that strips the wax off your boat. We wanna preserve it, as well as a soft bristle brush and a normal sponge. To dry the boat, I recommend using a microfiber towel. This way it's gonna be the least abrasive surface on the gel coat. I have a chamois here, but we normally use this for the inside of the boat because it's, it's not gonna be as easy on the hull as a microfiber towel like I use here. The last thing we have here is a spray can and I fill it up here with soap. The reason I do that is because when I, I spray the whole boat with it, it removes all the salt and makes it a cleaner surface to start with when you're cleaning the boat. The next step is I'm gonna fill the bucket up with some soap and water before I fill up the soap cannon. I like to typically use more soap than normal. Uh, most guys like to use about a cap full. I try to use about five. The sudsier, the better in my opinion. So next I'm gonna fill up the soap cannon. Um, it's got the different liters on here. The ounces, I normally fill it all the way up, which is again, overkill, but the more soap, the better. Now that I have my soap cannon and my bucket, bucket of water and soap ready, I'm gonna hose the boat down just to wet the surface before I hit it with the soap cannon. Now that I got my soap cannon installed, I'm gonna spray the boat down with some of this, the wash and wax. This is a, an extra step that I like to do. What it does is it really just keeps your investment looking newer and it keeps to where you're not just moving salt around the boat, you're actually eliminating it off the boat. And I normally start at the top and work my way down. This way I'm not moving the salt all around. I'm trying to eliminate it from the top to the bottom. I also like to try to get up under the boat and get some of those areas that normally aren't attended to. Now that I have the, the boat sprayed down with the soap cannon, I'm gonna use this normal water to rinse that soap off. So in the next step, I'm gonna use my soft bristle brush and start scrubbing the side of the hull. I like to get the brush nice and sudsy, that way you can cover a lot of area. You'll notice again, I'm starting at the top, working my way down. Again, I'm just trying to eliminate all the salt from the boat and get it down off the boat. You'll notice I continue to dip my bucket. Again, I try to keep the brush as soapy as possible. Just get you the best clean. It's gonna help remove that salt that much better. So the next step is now that we have the boat all nice and soapy is to eliminate the soap. You'll see again, I'll start from the top and work my way down the hull side. The last step is getting a nice clean microfiber rag and wiping the boat down and removing all the water. What this does is this completely eliminates any salt deposits that are left over, dirt and grime. It keeps the boat looking as fresh as possible. It also eliminates water spots. If you notice all the water beating on the side of the hull, that is from another step I do, which is using spray wax on the boat before I dry it. We'll talk about that in another video. All right, guys, that's the basics of hull cleaning. If you have any questions, leave them below in the comments. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.